starting with uh, my father, who used to play uh, different instruments. And he liked Duke Ellington and, and Count Basie, and he used to play uh, standard and boogie woogie piano. And he started uh, teaching me to play the piano when I was six years old. And uh, I, uh, soon after that, I was learning little jazz songs and boogie woogie from my, my father. There's always something new to learn, um, and something, I try to experiment, and I try to, uh, I try, I try to experiment using different musical ideas whenever I'm playing, and uh, so there's always, there's always, there's always things that you learn. It's hard to put into words, but um, yeah, every, every time I play, it's a learning experience. In all areas of life, there's always going to be competitive people because people need to make money to live. There's always going to be competition for uh, musical gigs and stuff. Um, it's possible that competition can be healthy if it pushes you to to work harder at your music. Uh, it, it's possible for it to be healthy. But Many times it's not so healthy um, because uh, people are doing whatever they can do to to get gigs and to make money, and sometimes it has nothing to do with the music. It only has to do with uh, you know who's who's a better businessman or businesswoman, and uh, so sometimes it's very unhealthy for the music. Some of them are very good, and um, some of them are sort of missing the, I think, the idea. Uh, but I think it's always been that way. You know, some, some of the, there's going to be good and bad every, in every generation. There'll be good and, there'll be good and bad. Um, the, you know, the computer generation, in some ways, it has helped spread jazz around, but I think it, in a lot of ways it's hurting jazz because because there's so much information out there that you can just press a button and and, and have all the Coltrane solos or, you know, and, and uh, when I was coming up, you had to investigate that stuff and find it yourself and do the work yourself. Um, but I think you learned more back then.
I try to think like, you know, I try to think like the last time that I played was the best time. You know, I just try to think that way, whether it's whether I really believe it or not. I just because because you know, like I said, it's jazz. It's you know, it's spontaneous. It's really like how I if I felt good or bad, I tried to be honest. So you know, it's sort of all I have. So you know, the last time I would say the last concert was my favorite.